Hello interwebs, Craig Chamberlain here. We are in episode 5 of the How to Make Money blogging series and today we're going to install XAMPP. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is the Apache MySQL PHP and Perl installation utility. Basically it turns your computer into a web server. I know it sounds really geeky, but it's just a way to work on your blog without the whole world seeing it. And so, you know, we like it because we don't want them to see our embarrassing first couple blog posts. That's right, we're going to install XAMPP. So, go to my website, pcmichigan.com, and select the download section. This is where I keep all my free software downloads. They are open source or free. Scroll down to the free web design tools. I have it right here. And go ahead and select the XAMPP hosting suite. Once the website comes up, select the download now link, and go ahead and save it to whichever directory you'd like. Now, after the installation is complete, just navigate to where you download it to and select it to open it. Go ahead and select the run. Now installing XAMPP is extremely easy. We want to install it to the root directory, so just leave that by default and select install. It'll unpackage everything in the XAMPP utility. You will then be prompted whether you should add shortcuts to the desktop. I'll go ahead and say yes and press enter. Then it asks you if you want to locate the XAMPP paths correctly. Just select, just leave it default and press enter. Then again, it asks you if you want to make a portable XAMPP, which is cool, but we're going to do that later. But uh, go ahead and leave your choice the default, which is no, and press enter again. Then it's going to set up all of your servers because you have to have multiple servers running for a good web server. And it says XAMPP is ready to use, as you can see right there. And then select return to continue. The time zone by default is set to America slash New York. You can correct that value if you want to. It's not really that big of a deal. Just press enter. And then, of course, at this part, you want to select one for starting the XAMPP control panel. So at this location, just press one and then press enter again. And then finally, select X to exit out of this control panel console. This is the last time you're going to see it. I know it looks intimidating. Just press enter. Now, just in case you accidentally closed it, you can open up your XAMPP control panel by going to All Programs, going to XAMPP for Windows, and selecting the XAMPP control panel. Now, if you already have it open, it's going to give you this error, and just select OK. And you'll have a little dog bone in the bottom right-hand corner you can click on, and it'll open up your control panel. Now, we have four services here that we can run. None of them are running right now, but we have the Apache service, which turns your computer into a web server. You don't really need to understand how that works, but what you need to know is for WordPress, we need to run an Apache server, which is a web server and MySQL, which is a database server. Now, WordPress is going to take care of installing everything for us, so don't worry about knowing how this is all working. We're just going to install it, and we're going to test it today. So go ahead and select Start for Apache. It'll say it's running after you've started it, and under MySQL, select Start. And then it'll say it's running. You may need to click, click this refresh button on the right-hand side. It'll also say down here whether it started or not. Now, if you're running Skype, you'll actually have to close Skype because Skype actually uses port 80. So you'll actually need to close Skype in order to run Apache. Uh, there is a way to work around for that. Let me know if you need to know it. Uh, it's a little lengthy for this video, but uh, go ahead and start with this. And then we're going to go to your favorite web browser. Personally, I use Google Chrome. You might have Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox. Now we're going to test it. Type in HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash, that's L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T, press enter, and here you have a big XAMPP icon showing up. So essentially you're accessing your own computer through a web browser. And that's all we're doing for this episode today. We're second, setting up XAMPP and this means that you've successfully installed it. One last thing you should do is select English and then bring up this XAMPP for Windows control panel. And we're gonna check PHP info, select that, make sure something actually loads. Otherwise it'll be a blank screen or it'll be an error message. And then on the left hand side also, under tools, select PHP My Admin, and you should be greeted with a database looking page. Don't worry, you're not actually gonna have to do a whole lot from this, but uh, this just makes sure that your MySQL and your PHP are running fine, because that's all you'll need to actually install WordPress. So in the next video, we're gonna be installing WordPress, and don't worry, this is probably the most intimidating part of this whole series, but uh, it's really not that bad. This handles a lot of the background stuff for you. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, and hang in there. This is probably the scariest part about it and uh, hopefully we'll keep moving forward and you'll be comfortable with it and don't forget to ask questions thanks again